Greetings, family and friends. Please welcome our class of 2023 graduates. Graduates, you'll be asked to rise at certain times during the ceremony. We respect and recognize that there are some graduates with mobility issues who are not able to stand.
now entering the field, our university faculty and administration. Faculty are wearing academic regalia, a tradition that began in the 12th century when robes were the standard garments of the day. The type of gown and the color of the hood designate the field in which the individual received their highest degree. Bachelor's gowns have pointed sleeves, while the master sleeves have squared ends. Doctoral gowns have rounded, open sleeves, and are trimmed on the front in black velvet with three velvet bars across the sleeve. Please join me in acknowledging our faculty and administration. Good afternoon, East Bay family. Thank you and please, <laughs> thank you and please be seated. Graduates and honored guests, I hereby declare the 63rd annual commencement exercises for California State University East Bay officially convened. I'm Dr. Albert Mendoza, assistant professor in the Department of Kinesiology, as well as the university faculty marshal. And now it is my pleasure to present Dr. Jason Singley, Dean of the College of Science. On behalf of the faculty from the College of Science, I would like to welcome family, friends, and guests of our graduating class. Graduates, your faculty have been challenging you throughout your time here to think broader and deeper, to solve problems, to become who you are meant to be. The ability to rise to a challenge is innately in you as a pioneer, someone who persists and takes the lead. On behalf of all of us at Cal State East Bay, 
we challenge you to make a path for those who follow in your footsteps. Many of you are the first in your families to obtain a bachelor's degree. Being first puts the responsibility on you to help others along the same journey. Rise to that challenge. Commencement provides the opportunity for families and friends, the faculty, staff, and many others to honor and recognize the culminating achievements of our graduates. On behalf of the university, I extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to family and friends of our students, the graduating class of 2023. I would like to also acknowledge the faculty, staff, and administrators who support our students and are participating in these ceremonies. Would all faculty, staff, and administrators please rise. Students, please help me in thanking these individuals for their hard work and dedication. Please be seated. I am now pleased to introduce Ms. Monique Fuga, Health Sciences major, to the podium to bring greetings on behalf of the students at Cal State East Bay. hear me okay? okay. <laughs> Hi mom and dad. Surprise! <laughs> um, so my parents didn't know I was speaking today so this is a surprise to them. Fine. Actually none of my family knew so surprise guys. <laughs> um, bear with me this is my first major speech guys. <laughs> Not only is this my first college graduation but it's my parents as well. Coming from a family where neither parents were able to attend college, I began my journey here with one goal in mind, get a degree. But I was given so much more. The connections I have made, the experiences I've had, and the support I was given during my time here was beyond what I expected, and I will forever be grateful. Being a public health student, I can't begin to tell you how many people asked, what's that? <laughs> Which is why I've made it my mission as a woman of color, a first generation college graduate, to show others that health isn't just doctors, visits, and medicine. It's the community that raises you, it's the knowledge you gain, and it's the happiness you experience. Whew. All of which I am proud to have achieved a deeper understanding of and fortunate enough to share with others. So to answer the question that so many of you are still wondering, what is public health? <coughs> it's about taking care of others socially, ethically, and mentally. Just like my parents coming to today's ceremony, I came to Cal State expecting one thing, but being pleasantly surprised by another. I don't have to tell you guys about surprises. Hell, we started our college careers in the middle of a, pan a pandemic. Whew. And after my time here with all of you, I'm confident with all of you sitting here in front of me, it will be the last one for generations to come. We will be the ones to inspire change just as I've inspired my mom to go back to school. So, round of applause for my mom. <laughs> Fellow graduates, I may not know all of you, and you may not know me, but we know each other's struggles. While we may have been the one to take the exams, hit control F during online assignments, <laughs> and we were the ones returning to class after seeing each other in little square boxes, it was the people around us that helped push us through. Our parents, our partners, hi babe, <laughs> our kids, our friends, shout out to Kayla and Irvin holding it down for me. <laughs> our professors, shout out to Arnab, <laughs> and our mentors. <laughs> All of these people saw our struggles and helped keep us motivated. So although our names are the ones on these diplomas, their names will forever be in our hearts. Don't worry though, mom, your name will be on a diploma soon enough. Congratulations, class of 2023. I am truly proud of all of us. Thank you.
And now I would like to introduce to the podium my fellow graduating classmate, who his best classmate has um, <sighs> described him as patient, caring, and kind. Um, please welcome to the stage, Nikki, a nursing major, to deliver his remarks. Good afternoon, dear administration, teachers, family, friends, and all the class of 2023. If you would have asked me a few years ago if I considered going back to school to get my master's degree in nursing, or to be invited and accepted to speak here today, or even have my work published once and working on my second publication, I would have to say there is no way. Life works in so many positive and random ways that keeps showing you ways to get out of your comfort zone and keep moving forward. In a blink of an eye, two years have passed in which we can now see reflected the efforts and dedication. Two not so easy years in which we have find the space and time to meet this goal. But if we're here today, it is because we have managed to do so. Nursing has always been an essential part of the healthcare system and the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted just how vital your work is. Your dedication and commitment to your patients have not gone unnoticed. And we're all grateful and for the sacrifices you have made to care for our communities. As nurses, we play a crucial role in the health of our communities and we are an essential part of the financial aspects of hospitals. Nurses are the backbone of the healthcare system and hospitals rely on the expertise to provide quality care to patients. Healthcare system that prioritizes nursing care has been found to have better outcomes, higher patient satisfaction, and even lower healthcare costs. I have dedicated the last five years of my career to help improve the life and health outcomes of patients with diabetes. In my research project, I have found the nursing care has excellent overall patient health outcomes and created a new financial model for nursing interventions through diabetes self-management education and support. To conclude, I invite you to look around and notice the proud faces of your loved ones who are here with us today. And I would just like to congratulate all of you for having achieved one more goal in our life. I would like to thank all the teachers for their dedication Despite having been an online master program, feeling your support has always helped us to be here today. And today, we'll return to put into practice everything that we have learned. As you continue with your nursing career, remember the impact you have on the health of your community and the, uh, the success of your healthcare system. Your work is vital and your dedication is valued. Once again, congratulations, graduates of 2023, and thank you for choosing the career of nursing. Thank you. Thank you both, Ms. Puga and Mr. Renicki. It is now my pleasure to introduce our president, Dr. Kathy Sandine. Hello, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on, but I wanted you to see me before I put them on. Anyway, um, I wish you could see what we're seeing from the platform up here. Just rows after row of people in real life, our graduates, the families and friends and supporters, our staff, um, it's just a beautiful sight. And uh, so greetings graduates or soon to be graduates, family, friends, so wonderful to see you. I'd like to give an extra special shout out to the alumni of Cal State East Bay or Cal State Hayward who are in the audience today. <laughs> Welcome back. Also to the young people, the children that I see, I love seeing that. Welcome to Cal State East Bay. I hope someday that you will be a student here and that you will be walking across the stage one day. So it is my pleasure to add my sincere congratulations to the class of 2023. 
Way to go. It is indeed a special day today. We got all dressed up for you, as you can see. And in fact, I put on my special red sparkly commencement sneakers in your honor. Let me show them to you. Well, I need sneakers to run around during commencement season, but you know, the ruby red part of it, sparkly ruby red, reminds me like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz that there's no place like East Bay. And I hope that you remember that. Again, welcome to our beautiful campus here in the Hayward Hills, a very special and inspiring place to work and to learn. From here, you can smell the trees, you can see the birds, little bit up the hill, you can see the view. We really um, benefit from being here, but we are not the first people to benefit from being on this land. We are situated here in the Hayward campus on the ancestral homelands of the Verona band of the Chicheno speaking Muwekma Ohlone people. This land was theirs, this land was taken from them. They are not extinct by any stretch of the imagination, they are still contributing members of the Bay Area community today. They continue to be stewards of the land. They teach us, they continue to advise us. And in fact, the neck piece that I'm wearing today is made, by red, uh, made of red abalone shell, which is an indigenous material. And this neck piece was given to me by the tribe um, or given to the university to wear on special occasions. So please join me in pausing just for a moment to reflect and recognize the Muwekma Ohlone people. Now, back to our grads. Today is the culmination of your dreams. It is also the culmination of reading hundreds and hundreds of pages or screens, writing numerous papers, participating in projects, clinicals, labs, and research projects, staying up late to study, read, or write, uh, drinking lots of coffee, or in some cases, Red Bull, giving up time with your fr friends and family, dealing with challenges of all kinds, including a global pandemic, and generally shuffling and organizing all the things in your busy lives. Just to be here today. And you made it, and we're very proud of you. So I have one final assignment for you to illustrate how special our Cal State East Bay students are. So as I read down this list, this short list of uh, characteristics or qualities, if something applies to you, please stand and remain standing. It won't take long, I promise. All right, if you are the first in your family to earn a degree or a graduate degree, please stand and remain standing if you can or raise your hand. Remain standing, I wanna see everyone at the end. If you are a veteran or active service member, please stand and thank you for your service. If you have a family member who is a graduate of Cal State, East Bay or Hayward, please stand. Legacies. It, if you are a student athlete, please stand. If you worked full time while earning your degree, please stand. Whoa. Wow, there's a lot of you. If you work part-time while earning your degree, please stand or raise your hand. If you speak a language in addition to English, please stand or raise your hand. If you are an international student, please stand or raise your hand. If you participated at any time in a research project, an internship, or community service project, Please stand or raise your hand. Thank you. You demonstrated something. You'll notice that virtually every student here is standing and has fulfilled some of those qualities. Please be seated and thank you. Thank you for helping me with that little demonstration. And, and uh, uh, for our audience, I wanna make sure you know that as our students walk across the stage, many or most of them are wearing cords, medallions, stoles, that designate the, some of these various categories. 
So as you can all see, Cal State East Bay students are an extremely special group. You do so many things in addition to your studies. You bring a wealth of experience into our classrooms, labs, and other activities. You are diverse, you are dynamic, you are energetic, and you are committed. And as I mentioned, you completed your degree during a global pandemic. Now, I know it was a struggle at, time, at times, but the strength that you gained through that process you'll carry with you throughout your life. All across the U.S., hundreds of thousands of students are graduating over the next month or so. But not all of them have completed a degree while doing all these other things that you are able to do. You are extremely special and have much to offer. Please remember that, and please remember to put some of these things on your resume or cover letters. They will come in handy. I myself am a first-generation college graduate. I grew up just seven miles from where I'm standing right now. I'm an East Bay person through and through. I'm the eldest of five siblings, divorced parents. Neither of my parents had the opportunity to go to college, and in fact, my father dropped out of high school to join the military. Don't get me wrong, my parents were smart, and they worked hard, and they gave us a good life. However, in this day and age, my life would have been totally different had I not pursued my higher education degrees. I have had so many wonderful opportunities, like, for example, becoming the president of Cal State East Bay, something I would never have imagined as a little girl living in Oakland and San Leandro, California. But it just goes to show anything can happen. If it can happen to, for me, it can happen for you too. So I just want to point out that many of our faculty and staff have similar backgrounds. So a day like today, looking at you, knowing how hard you worked, how much your family and friends supported you, knowing your complicated lives, it's very, very moving to me and those of us up here on the platform. I know you are grateful to your family and friends, to the professors who guided you, to the staff who created a very nice learning environment, and indeed the ceremony for you today. Earning a degree takes, it's kind of a team sport, it takes more than one person, and I know that help is immeasurable. But the bottom line is, you did it. You did it. So congratulations on earning your degree. We are extraordinarily proud of you and can't wait to see what you do. I know it will be something great. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, President Sandine. I would now like to invite Dr. Michelle Rippey, President of the Alumni Association and Class of 2002, to the podium for the Forever Pioneer Pinning Ceremony. Thank you, Dean Singley. Good afternoon, Class of 2023. It's a beautiful, warm day to get a degree. It is my distinct pleasure on behalf of over 160,000 alumni from Cal State e East Bay and Cal State Hayward to present you with your distinct and highly Instagrammable Class of 2023 pin. As you embark on your pioneering path, please be reminded as Cal State East Bay now alum that this is your alma mater and this campus will forever be your home. In the tradition of a pioneer, Take what you have learned from Cal State East Bay and create, develop, and inspire new ideas that will have a positive impact in your community. Be the catalyst to change in the world that we need. Please accept your class of 2023 pin as a symbol of your new status as an alumni in the Cal State East Bay family. Congratulations, class of 2023, and go Pioneers! Thank you, Dr. Rippey. I now invite Dr. Walt Jacobs, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs to the podium. Good afternoon. I take this occasion to recognize the high scholarly accomplishments of many of our undergraduate members of this graduating class. 
You will note in your program that many of the bachelor's degree candidates' names are followed by one, two, or three asterisks. These undergraduates, so designated, have distinguished themselves by their high academic achievements throughout their college and university careers. On Saturday, April 22nd, Cal State East Bay held a special ceremony to recognize undergraduate students who have achieved Latin honors of distinction, which are summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. Bachelor's degree candidates who graduate in the top 8% of their college class are designated cum laude with honor. Candidates who graduate with, in the top 3% are designated magna cum laude with great honor. And those candidates who graduate in the top 1% are designated summa cum laude with highest honor. At that ceremony, each senior graduating with honors was presented with a medallion to wear at their commencement ceremonies. This medallion serves as a symbol of the great pride the university has in their achievements. At this time, I ask all bachelor's degree candidates who received designations of honor on their diploma to stand and be recognized. Please be seated. And now, we move to the portion of the program you have all been waiting for, the presentation and conferring of degrees for the master's and bachelor's degree recipients of 2023. Dean, <laughs> Dean Singley, Dr. Arnab Mukherjee, Chair of the Department of Public Health, and Dr. Monica Eckville, the Chair of the Department of Nursing, will now present to you the candidates who have completed all requirements for the degree or will do so by the summer term and have been approved by the faculty for conferral of their degrees. Thank you, Provost Jacobs. Now, will all the candidates for the bachelor's degree in public health and the bachelor's degree in health sciences please rise. <laughs> Dean Singley, on the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Science at California State University East Bay, I present to you our 2023 bachelor's degree candidates from the Department of Public Health who have completed all the requirements for their degrees or will do so by the end of the summer term and have been approved by the faculty for conferral of their degrees. Candidates for the bachelor's degrees. Upon satisfaction of all requirements and on the recommendation of the faculty of the California State University East Bay, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor's of Science with all the rights, distinctions, and above all, the responsibilities thereunto pertaining. I invite the audience to help us congratulate all Bachelor's degree recipients from the Department of Public Health Please be seated. Now, will all of the candidates for the bachelor's and master's degree in nursing please rise. <laughs> Dean Singley, on the recommendation of the faculty in the College of Science at the California State University East Bay, I present to you our 2023 bachelor's and master's degree candidates from the Department of Nursing who have completed all requirements for their degrees or will do so by the end of summer term and have been approved by the faculty for conferral of their degrees. Candidates for the master's and bachelor's degree Upon satisfaction of all requirements and on the recommendation of the faculty of the California State University East Bay, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor's of Science or Master's of Science with all the rights, distinctions, and above all, the responsibilities thereunto pertaining. I invite the audience to help us congratulate all bachelor's and master's degree recipients from the Department of Nursing. <laughs> the 
Please be seated. In just a moment, we will invite each graduate to join us on stage for individual recognition and congratulations. Before we do so, we engage in a ritual shared at universities across the world, the moving of the tassel. Traditionally, the tassel is worn on the right side until graduation, when it can be moved to the left side, signifying that the degree has been completed. Graduates, now is the time to move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. On behalf of the faculty in the College of Science, I am pleased to present the undergraduate and graduate scholars receiving their bachelor's and master's degrees. Student marshals, please bring the graduates forward. I got rhythm, I got music. Where's the photographer? Wai Ling Yao. Nikki Rainick. Sally Huang. Lauren Acosta. Salome Lake. Shala Irene Villaruel Catanyag. Jaylene Malley. Sherry Grace Smith. Anna Golenberg. Claudette Irangal. Patricia Gomez. Noellen Robledo. Joseph Mark Marto. Jothi Vias. Matthew Alejandro Rodriguez. Claudia Guevara. Monique Puga. Lazelle Agalet. Kayla Chow. Anubhav Chanan. <laughs> Mari Carmen Guadalupe Cruz Campos. Ryan Ledizma. 
Man meet Kaur. Selena Anna B. Dayongsun. Nazia Khan. Sabrina Raquel Cabrera. Tram Trong. Frederick Frierson Jr. Shakira Gallo Alvarez. Shamiha Pakiza. Alexandra Bermudez. Carla Ramos Fernandez. Shelby Dethelm. Amanda Nakamura. Jasmine Morales. Lauren Wynn. Chelsea Perez. Marjorie Grace Didasse. Alondra Rosas. Yasmin Lopez. Asma Ayad. Robert Hans. Rachel Ocampo. Valencia Webster. Shane Duenas. Maria Rodriguez. Marcus Acuna. Cynthia Deo. Jalen Dent. Maurice Jocelyn. Elizabeth Canhai. Carrie Clutter. Marissa Chavez. Clarissa Garcia. Devaney Jasmine Montelongo Mendoza. Myra Randolph. Sabrina Cabral. Jianjin Zhang. Natalie Garcia Villanueva. Maricela Perez. Colleen Christine Nostrand. Karen Lopez. Danielle Marie Chu. Isabella Cacique. Kiana Marquez Camacho. Leslie Castillo. Amanda May Mendoza. Kayla Johnson. Alexia Izquierdo. Shakti Ravishandran. Francisca. Francisca Pinckney. Natalie Mendoza. Oh my God, dude. Congratulations. Majed Saeed. Erica Trevino. Felisa Elizabeth Amaya. Ian Arguello. Deja Dawson. Congratulations. Trin Nguyen. Espanol? Espanol? Sí. Cassandra Garcia. Kiani Gist. Veronica Souza. Naomi Hernandez Perez. Jaspreet Carr. Jasmine Torres. Congratulations. 
Vipin Chima. Nicole Singh. Sunita Her. I'm happy to switch whenever you, I mean, I'm, I'm good. Sunbun Kim Hoon Tibayan. Sabrina Yang. Fernanda Rosalia Clarín. Elise D. Gabriela Rodriguez. Jessica Camacho. Adriana Navarro. Jasmine May. Congratulations, Jasmine. Andrea Chavez. Brianna Faye Siobhan Santee. Madeline Trujillo. Congratulations. Stephanie Ann McGee. Guadalupe Barrara Casanian. Hala Massad. Edwin Sagal. Yoslin Ayon. Yoslin Ayon. Serena Gonzalez. <laughs> Diana Gomez. Joseph Nelson. Mariana Abdallah. Caitlin Marie Russell. Oh, yeah. I know all these people. Hey, congratulations. Fatima Hamoud. Josie Lusher Dipala. <laughs> Johanna Gebremarian. Luz Angelica Duarte. Arlena Reyes Rocha. Laiba Gufran. Archel Devi. Muscat Newman. <laughs> Selena Santian. Ashley Frausto. Elida Maria Valdez. Ana Valencia. Carla Carrada. Alexandra Alc Alcanar. Laura Flores Estrada. Saida Rios. Daisy Lopez Alvalos. Teresa Fiesel. Alexis Ray Alvarez. Caitlin Hermosillo. Nimrith Mann. Neely Harmon. Glessary Joy Ligsay. Mignon Verity Gelago. Jose Simon Carmona. Annalyn Joy Cristobal Ramos. Nidia Zavala Padilla. Jessica Alena Armendaris. William Garcia. Isabel Renee Gonzaga. Jordan Scott. 
Chris Vo. Hile Wardock. Lucy Rodriguez. Cindy Lojewski. Ivy Yu. Paolo Carena. Corey Lipe. Kalia Chan. Congratulations. Rita Phillips. Libby Chong. Isis Hughes. Karen Osuna. Jennifer Luz Diaz. Chio Saturn. Feng Tao Nguyen. Charisma Khan. <laughs> Ashley Ann Fernandez. Amy Amers Thatch. <laughs> Miranda Rael. Bridget Neri Vichara Hang Tatiana Botello Adora Wayne Hamdia Ganim Christine Joyce Rebriano Sana Khadim Sika Adikari. Emily Alvarez. Ileana Gabriela Gadoy. Joshua Chatterick Tongson Garcia. Ruby Jewel. Deanna Ortiz Kennedy. Sarah Raquel Lucero. <laughs> Daphne Zhang. Malin Elizabeth Ortiz. Awesome, dude. Haven't seen you let your mask up. Javens Lynn. Sarah Acevedo Rodriguez. Jordan Vincent. David Peterson. Mariana Artiaga. Caitlin Nutley. Keisha Munoz. Araceli Salas. Udaisi Cabrera Aguiar. Yes. Julia Espiritu. Yeah, yeah, I told you, I remember you. Michael Tony Call. <laughs> Destiny Ann Cerna. Matthew Ramos Nasino. <laughs> Lorena Vidrio. <laughs> Catherine Liu. Yalen Hernandez Roque. Savannah Tran. Gaviel RV Sosai. Yeah. 
Merli. Merli Bayadares. Charlene Adrian Ordonez. Ella Marie Manipud. Joe Mary Vargas. Melani Monavellis. Jasmine Monique Rivac. Congratulations, Jasmine. Jasmine Polito. Tatiana Sturdivant. Misha Mean. Gina Renee Johnson. Emily Nguyen. Brianna Harper. Awesome, congratulations, dude. Sheldon Chinonso Unabu. I'm sorry, Unabu, my bad. Latira Grays. Angela Fritz Dumatal. Congratulations, Angela. Isela Sandoval. Wow. Congratulations. Connie Huynh. <laughs> Jocelyn Saragossa. Marlena Pais. Wow, cool. Dude, congratulations. Akitsali Aguirre. Vanessa Fulgueres. Oh my God, congratulations. Edixa Sanchez Pacheco. Sital Savitri Singh. Sajin Sunny. Justin Mugsai Sai. Micah O'Neill. May Antoinette Paul Ting. Congratulations. Destiny Horn. Kenya Chavez. Dairy Flowers. Kylie Knopp. Chinee Echem. Irvin Tenedo. Evelyn Mbugwa. Eileen Larios Alvarez. This is a uh, Olaf name. Fatumata C. Sarah Aguiar. You did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're amazing. Congratulations. Linda Asante Breña. Rosa Wen. Damina Peterson. Stephanie Hernandez. Congratulations. Soraya Edwards. Oh, 
Congratulations, Maya. Maya Pacheco. Vanessa Tinoco Sorvin. Dude, you did it. Junior, right? Yeah. Okay. Salvador Alatore Jr. Jennifer Bautista Lopez. Wow, dude, you did it. Tomas Del Villar Ortiz. Brenda Gutierrez. Lillian Perez. Leslie Angel. Thomas Gerond. Karen Torres Stern. Fabian Rodriguez Vega. Diana Liseth Granados. Manuel Calvo Sarceno. Laura Poggio. Hernando Sanchez Jr. Ariza Grayson Luspian. Anthony Castillo. Angela Asimoe. Dude, awesome. Mark Paulo Parong. Hazel Ann Gentalian. Leslie Tadeo Soriano. Megan Huang. Celine Marie Perez. Nadia Yishak. Alyssa Souza. Deidre Stevens. <laughs> Brianna Lingenfelter. Congratulations, Brianna, you did it. Reina Isabel Mejia. <laughs> Ariana Godinez. Ian Lemuel Maba Bang Loob. Star Venus Holmes. Marvin Maravilla. Vanessa Joy Bautista. Mina Sharifi. This completes the recognition of the candidates for degrees from the Department of Nursing and the Department of Public Health. Congratulations, graduates. You are now the newest Cal State East Bay alumni. Thank you for attending this ceremony. We hope it has reflected our pride in yours in these exceptional students. Faculty Marshal Mendoza, will you please come forward? Congratulations, class of 2023. We all wish you luck in your path forward that is filled with possibilities. I now pronounce these commencement exercises officially closed.
Yes. Please remain seated until the recessional is completed. Thank you.